CIP going on in our brew house in our showroom, so I figured now would be a good time to kind of go over some key points about CIP. Uh, those three major points are going to be safety, your setup, and then some of the physics behind uh, what's going on in your CIP. So the first thing, safety. You're dealing with some harsh chemicals, some acids, some caustics, you're dealing with high temperatures. So you want to make sure you got your you know, chemical resistant, heat resistant gloves, as well as eye protection. Those are the big things. Next biggest thing is setup. Uh, what that means is trying to set up your process piping to involve as much as your CIP as possible. So any piping that's you know hit with wart during the actual brewing process, you know, that has potential to hold on to sugars, proteins, you know, any residue. So you want to make sure that that's involved in your CIP circuit as much as possible. So that's getting flushed. Try to work in your heat exchanger as well. You want to make sure that that's getting back flushed to flush out any trube or anything that could get stuck in there. So the more process piping, process flow that you work into your CIP, you know, the more efficient and the more you're going to get out of that CIP. Next thing I want to talk about is the actual physics involved uh, in your CIP. These are some things that people, you know, you know exist, but you might kind of overlook some. You know, first thing is temperature, the thermal, the thermal properties that are going on there. You want to maintain those high temperatures throughout your entire CIP process. Uh, your temperature, temperatures are going to be designated by what chemicals you're using, and that's going to be most properly prescribed by your chemical supplier. Uh, next biggest thing, concentration, your chemical properties. Uh, again, you're going to be using some caustics. Every chemical is a little bit different, but you want to make sure that you have the right concentration in your mixture as prescribed by your chemical supplier. So they're going to be able to tell you the exact, you know, the most ideal solution, concentration there to help break down uh, all those uh, residue, protein, sugars, everything like that that's hanging around. You want to make sure that you got the right concentrations to take care of that. Uh, another thing, the actual mechanical forces. And what that means is the actual pressure and forces that you're hitting all your surfaces with. This is the most overlooked part of CIP. But you want to make sure that you got your CIP balls, you got your pump, it's blasting all your sides. You want to hit every single surface of your internal walls of your vessels. You want to hit every surface. You want to hit your surface of your rakes, your calandra, anything in there. You want to make sure they're hit. That's why we got spinning CIP balls in there. They rotate, they hit all the surfaces. Another thing to think about is the actual bottom of your vessels. You don't want those flooded with a layer of uh, layer of chemicals there. You want just enough actual chemicals and you know chemical solution in your tanks to just be able to complete the circuit without cavitating your pump. Uh, that way the bottom of your vessel is also getting hit with that pressure. And that's something you know a lot of people don't know about. But that's something that you really want to make sure. The fourth biggest thing to think about is time. And that's going to vary based on the other three that I talked about. Um, and the best thing is going to be supplied by your chemical supplier. They're going to tell you the exact time. And they can range from 30 minutes, 45, 60, 90, whatever it is based on your concentration and temperatures. You want to make sure that you get that you know, your proper time in to allow your chemicals to do their job. And uh, that's pretty much it with CIP. And with our, uh, minutes here so I'm gonna get back to it and make sure everything's going well making sure everything's safe the setup is good the setup's already done uh, but making sure that all those forces that I talked to you about are doing their job as best as they can hope this helped and thanks for watching